problem with the United States dollar is that it was so strong and so good for so long. Up until 1971, it was backed by gold. Everybody trusted the United States. And because of that, everyone used the dollar as their reserve. Because the dollar was actually a warehouse receipt that was valued on that piece of paper for a certain amount of gold. And everybody knew that. Well, the French caught on and knew that the United States really didn't have the amount of gold that they said they had. And so they called their bluff, more or less. They said, OK, this is what this receipt says. It says, if I turn these in, I'm going to get this much gold. And they started sending their dollars back to the United States and started draining the reserves, the gold reserves, the United States of America. This happened under the Nixon administration. And his best counselors at the time advised him that he had to throw in the towel. He had to renege on that promise. Uh, so in August of 1971, Nixon said, I'm closing the gold window. We are no longer honoring the dollar based upon the gold standard. And it was from that moment forward that the U.S. dollar lost the greatest percentage of its buying power, both nationally and internationally. Well, when you keep your assets in U.S. dollars, you're keeping your assets in an entity that fluctuates uh, in value based upon the whims and indeed the psychoses of the politicians that, uh, that control its value. What is the dollar? But it's a, a liability of the U.S. government and it's increasingly going to be recognized in the future the U.S. government is bankrupt. So it's foolish to keep your, your, your assets in the liability of a bankrupt entity. So U.S. people, uh, whether they're earning now or particularly if they're retired or looking ahead to retirement, I mean, in my view, they've got to hedge against that dollar. They've got to hedge. And there's essentially two ways to hedge. One is in currencies and one is in gold. There's, there's really no other way. And all you've got to do is look at continued government spending, deficit spending, the obligations that the federal government has in the United States with respect to entitlement programs. So we are going to continue to print dollars. And the more we print to take care of the economy and all these obligations, the more the value of the dollar is going to decrease. And, and that is bullish for gold. The United States government, as all governments, literally have a blank check for whatever they need. They can produce paper required to make payment, to pursue a war, to go into space, to build a pipeline, to do anything. That blank check has been the substance and foundation of all the speculative bubbles in my lifetime and in the lifetime of the viewers. And I'm wholly convinced, intellectually, intuitively, by my education and by my experience, that the foundation is shifting here and now. Today, with the gold standard a distant memory, U.S. spending predictably has spiraled wildly out of control. But who pays for this spending? The answer? You do. Because as the world has been flooded with more and more paper dollars since 1971, the dollars you earn and the dollars you've saved are worth less and less. The dollar's purchasing power has declined at a staggering rate. Gold, on the other hand, has not only held its purchasing power, its purchasing power has actually increased. To illustrate this point, we turn to our financial reporter, Walter Birch. Roz, I think this will come as quite a surprise to our viewers. In 1971, a new Mustang Standard Coupe could be purchased for 83 ounces of gold, or the equivalent of approximately $2,900. Now today, that same 83 ounces of gold could not only purchase a Standard Coupe, but a fully loaded top-of-the-line Mustang, with more than $5,000 left over, enough to buy gasoline for the car, even at today's prices, for several years. So, coming full circle, we can now see that the President's decision in 1971 to leave the gold standard behind has contributed to a dramatic decline in the purchasing power of the dollar. A dollar no longer backed by gold, but in reality, by you.